is going up guys, it's Cups of Coffee here, and today, coming at you with a tutorial on, on Streamlabs. So, this is like how to get your um, music playing if you're having troubles, you know, with the music, because if you know, if you don't have a computer or Windows or something like that, you can't use OBS, and just, this is easy. All you have to do is, like, log in. Or like make an account, whatever. If you don't have one Twitch or something, just log in with Twitch. I Streamlabs is a pretty nice extension because they give you, you know, like like right now, I, this is my channel. I'm, I just, you know, I don't have that much followers and stuff. But um, but you know, right here they have dashboard. You know, they have recent events like who followed you and they have all these things like alert box and. That's just, that's something you have to use with like OBS and stuff, which I don't have. So, that's just another video. Alright, but you, um... Alright, so all you have to do is go to streamlabs.com, log in, go to dashboard. And you have this recent event tabs right here. And then you just go over to music player. You have to keep this open. And then when, when this is open, alright, and then your stream, when you're streaming, if you have the... Twitch ex uh, Streamlabs extension like configured and it's on and everything. People can request um, songs from SoundCloud and they'll come to here and then they'll, you just all you have to do is like right here. Hold on, let me start streaming so I can do this. Just we're back. All right, I started streaming and so when you're streaming, a little icon will pop up. You just go press it. And, you know, you can like pick a card. You can just all the settings right here but you just go to request a song just type in something like I usually do like one hour chill music just hit enter that pops up just select one it's any your request is being processed boom pops up right here all right so usually this is gonna be like pause or whatever you know, like you can adjust the volume and it plays directly to your stream. So you don't have to worry about, you know, all that other stuff. So this, if you, you don't have to have autoplay, but usually autoplay is a good thing because if you don't have autoplay on and people are requesting music, you're going to have to go and keep pressing play and stuff and, and stuff like that. And, but yeah, when you're done, like all you do is just, you know, I'll you know, show you when people do like multiple requests. So you have this one, and you got your first song going on, and that's one person requesting one, let's just go to like, um, let's put in another song, whatever, Green Day, 21 Guns, who cares, but then that's, that song is gonna be, it's gonna pop down there, and it's gonna show you what user, like who the, who it was requested by, and, yeah, you just you just play it. Song goes on for an hour. It goes directly to your stream, and that's about it. That's all you have to do. And if you just don't want that song, you just skip it. It gets out of there, and that's about it. And you can like shuffle the songs, you know, and all that. If you want, if you don't want it there. But um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for more tutorials and siege videos. And peace.